All right, George, uh, were you feeling sorry for him there in the second round? Did you let up? Well, you know, I told you earlier in the dressing room, when a guy comes to George Foreman and makes me a boxer, I hit him with a lot of hard shot and kind of hurt. He must have been a hell of a football player. <laughs> A heavenly of a football player, that's what's hurt. So you're saying that you really did carry him a little bit, maybe out of respect for the fact that no, he was no, trying he so hard. No, hard, and I thought he was going to fall, and I let him loose for a moment. I said, he's not going to last long. The next thing I know, he started hitting me back. The guy's got a chin like a piece of stone. He clipped you a few times. Any of them uh, sting? Yeah, he hit me with a good right hand. It really hurt, and the left hook in the side is still hurting right now. So the guy was a good puncher. I don't know who told me he wasn't anything. You see how you can believe everything? Now, I'm hurting on my left, uh, right side, and I got hit with a right hand. I'm in good, bad shape, but I'm going to make it. What, what are the plans? Let's, we're going to take a look at the end there. Would you describe it for us? Well, I'm right now just trying to find him with a hook and get it over with because he's Taking the hardest shots I've hit, I think he's gonna fall now. Don't hit him, don't hit him, he's gonna fall. But watch as he comes back and start hitting me. You just can't. No respect for his elders. No respect <laughs> for his elders. I need next time I fight, I need to have my gray hair. Uh, that'll show him, that'll teach him something. But uh, I'm a, I was a little too experienced as far as not knowing not to get in there and wade in there and try to mix it up with him, just stand back with the left jab. If I hadn't had that experience, he could have gotten a little. A lucky a few, yeah, but so much experience. I've had the guys that stand off of me for years and use that jab. Now I'm giving it back to them. What are your plans for the next six months or so as far as boxing is concerned? The ultimate goal is to get down to the back 235. I'm 257 this time. I'll be 235 the next time. Then there's a great Olympian, uh, Riddick Bow, uh, that my promoters have been talking about. And I think we're going to draw and have the whole world coming out to see two Olympians fight again. And then uh, if Holyfield is ready, I'll fight him.